cases, the Friday flow, we'll be doing a uh, travel flow. This is great for before or after you travel, if you're stuck at a layover in the airport, you got 20 minutes and you just wanna help that body relax a little, you're all stiff from sitting, or you just know you're gonna be stiff from sitting. This is a quick 20 minute flow you can do, and you don't need much space if you have a mat, great. If you don't have a mat, you can just use a carpet at the airport. So it's just a great flow to start relaxing your back, relaxing your legs, and really stretching out before a long haul or right after. Let's get started. My name is Julian. Let's begin. So step to the front of the mat. If you don't have a mat, just stand up straight. Breathe in, open your body up. And exhale, close up, bring the in front, imagine someone's punching you right between the chest so you're closing the body. And inhale, open back up, press through the chest, look up. And exhale, close up, really close that body. Exhale, open up again. Inhale, open, and exhale, close. Inhale, open the body. And exhale, close. Come back to center, shake it off. So I'll stand in front of you so you can see. We're gonna start moving our spine side to side. Just get some movement into the body, so start side to side. You can have our hands whenever you want. Our hips are anchored to the ground, our legs are anchored, our shoulders are pretty anchored, and the spine is the one that's moving side to side. Once we get this motion down, we're going to start doing a circle forward and back, side, forward, and back, side, forward, and back. We're really going to try to get this circle go. This is going to help our spine relax. Just circling side, front, side, back, side, front, side, back. Now we're going to switch sides from the back, so front, side, back. Front, side, back. Remember our hips are relatively anchored. We just want to get as much movement as the spine. We're trying to get our head relatively anchored. So that really our back is the one that's doing all the work. Our spine is the one that's moving. Shake it off. Good work. So now we're just going to take a sit. And as we see, we're going to just have this simple pose, kind of like what you would do for a crab walk or something. And you're going to start to lift up, reverse tabletop, and down. Come back up, and down. We're just going to do a couple of these so that we're opening up the shoulders, we're rotating the shoulders back. So rotate, stretch up the shoulders, and back, up. And back. Last one up. And back down. Alright. We're going to stretch out our legs in the front. And we're not going to touch as much as we're just going to try to touch one foot and then come back up. Touch the other. Come back up. If we can't touch the foot, we'll go to the shin. Back up. And we just want to keep following the line of moving our spine and relaxing a little. So touching as far as we can and coming back. Touching as far as we can and coming back. Twisting. We can add maybe looking to the side. Looking to the side and maybe pushing through, pulling through. Looking to the side, pulling through. So just a couple more going a little deeper each time. Pulling through a little more. Pulling through. Gonna come back up. We're gonna bend our legs. Bring our feet really close to our glute. We're gonna start to drop the knees side to side. So maybe we start with a small movement side to side. Just dropping the knees side to side. And as we go a little deeper each time, dropping the knees. Just getting a little deeper, maybe get their knees all the way to the ground. This is going to help us release our lower back, our inner thighs. 
Just moving side to side with the knees. A couple more. Now we're going to open our legs just enough so that when we drop one knee, it's almost touching the foot and we drop out. So drop and drop. Similar movement, except the feet are separated and the knees are almost touching the foot other foot as they drop down to the ground. So we continue this movement, we're just releasing the back, we're releasing the legs. Continue with this a couple times. Just relaxing. Still getting that body blood flowing so that our body releases, gets looser. And come back to center. Check out the legs a little. And you're going to start to lift your left foot. And you're going to bring your left foot right on top of your knee. And you're going to continue the same motion side to side. So we're going to go side to side. And if it feels you want a deeper stretch, you can bring your front foot forward. If not, you can leave it where it was. Just going to go side to side. Start really small. And as you stretch and you get little more docile. We can bring the knee down to open up a little bit more. Just coming side to side. Getting a little bit deeper each time. A little bit deeper each time. So if we can make it all the way to the ground now. We're making it all the way to the ground as we come down to this one side. We're going to stop, we're going to press up. Now we're going to bend forward over the foot. Might not go too far, but that's fine. We just want to stretch a little deeper. You can use your hand for support. And then come back, place your hands back where they were. Maybe other side, this side. Your other knee might come down to your foot. Maybe not. You'll stay a little higher. Same thing. We're going to sit up and then we're going to bend forward. So Bending forward again. Just breathing. Making sure we're stretching our lower back for all those hours of sitting. So come back up. Lift the foot, stretch your leg out, bring it back next to your other foot. So let's get the right foot. Lift the right foot, bring it over the knee, place it back down, and start to move side to side as we were. So start moving side to side. Each time we go a little further, a little deeper. Really getting that hamstring, that lower back. Just making sure it's working well, stretching, it's getting some movement in. Not too intense, but it's definitely making it help the blood flow. So we're going to try to bring it down to the ground each time as we get more movement in. We can twist a little more. We can bring it all the way down. And once we're really touching the ground each time, I get a couple of those touching the ground. Just a couple. And then we'll stop with the inner part of the knee that's down to the ground. We'll sit back up and we'll bend forward. So maybe you need some support with the hands so you can bend forward. Just hold for a second, breathe. Come back up, bring your hands back, rotate, and then outside of the knee is going to come down. Maybe your other knee comes down to your left foot. Sit up first, real tall, and then bend forward. Just hold for a second, bend forward. Release the neck, release the head. 
So you're stretching that lower part of your back. I'll try to get a little deeper. Really release into this stretch. Start to come back up. Bring the knee back up. Release the foot, maybe lift up. Stretch it out in front of you. And relax. Great. So now that we're sitting in this L sit, we're gonna shake off the legs a bit. And we're gonna start to lean back, putting our hands back, but keeping our legs straight. So we're gonna start to press into the hands, start tighten the abs, start to tighten your butt. You're gonna press up to this reverse plank. And you're gonna just try to hold it one, two, three, and relax. Shake off a bit. We're gonna do another one of those. So press up to this reverse plank. One, two, three, and slide back down. Great work. So now you're gonna bring your feet up right in front of you. And you're gonna start to hug your knees in. And you're just gonna start to rock. If you have enough space, you're gonna roll back and rock back up. Roll back and back up. If you can do a full rock, it's gonna be best. So rock all the way back and come up. Rock all the way back and come up. Try to be as round as possible so you're almost massaging your back as you roll. So roll and back up. Roll and back up. We're rolling, we're getting each vertebra that bends just enough so that our back curls and rolls. So we're gonna roll all the way back and come up to squat. And let's go again. All the way back and up to low squat. All the way back and up to low squat. Last one, all the way back. Up to low squat and just hold this low squat. Lost in a squat. If you're on toes, it's fine. Just try to hold this low squat. Breathe here for a second. Try to stretch your head up to the sky. Feel real tall here. Really tall. Now you're gonna place your hands in front of you. Maybe one or two feet in front of you. And you're gonna start to lift your butt up to this almost forward fold, almost downward facing dog. And maybe you're gonna come slightly higher, roll all the way up, your feet are still wide. Open up at the top and start to curl back down. Curl all the way back down. Curl back down to the squat, and you're back in squat. So in this squat, what you're gonna do is you're gonna try to reach in front of you. It's gonna help you stretch your lower back and your hamstrings. So as you're in this deep squat, you're gonna try to reach and hold the ground in front of you, and then come back. Reach and hold the ground in front of you, and then come back. Reach again, come back. Can we go a little further? Reach, hold the ground in front of you, and come back. Reach for the ground in front of you, really reach, and come back. Roll all the way back. Uh, release the legs. Lay down for a second. Okay, so let's lift the left knee off the ground. Really start to hug it in. Really tight. Hug it in. Now we're going to twist it over our body. Twist the knee. Drop down to the ground. And our left hand is going to reach out the opposite direction so that we're really getting that deep twist. And your back cracks. You're going to try to look over your fingers towards your left hand. Just holding this twist. Relax here. Really twist. Start to come back to center. Hug your knee in. Place it back down on the ground. And start to lift your right knee. Bring it up. Hug your leg in. Really hug it tight. 
whatever makes it more comfortable to hug it tight and start to twist. So start to pull it over towards your left side. Twist, try to get as low as you can. Your whole crack. Your whole back is cracking like mine. And then you twist, you try to reach your right hand out to the side and look over your fingers. Again, that deep twist, that deep stretch. Just breathe here, relax as you twist your body. With each exhale, you go a little bit deeper in the twist. Still looking over your right hand fingers. So you start to come back to center. And release the knee so it comes back down. So now you're going to bring your left foot back up and you're going to hold your foot and then as you hold your foot you're going to start to pull it back. Maybe you're going to try to lift the foot but you can't lift it because you're holding it. So you're going to go into this half happy baby. This half happy baby you're going to try to straighten the leg and then you're going to release. And as you release the leg and you let it bend your hand is going to pull it down to the ground as much as possible. But you don't want that, so you're going to start to straighten the leg and push up. But your hand doesn't want that, so you're going to start to bend the knee and pull it back down. So you're just going to play with that. Straighten the leg, and then bend the leg and pull it down with your hand. Straighten the leg, and pull it down with your hand. So continue pulsing as you straighten, bend, and come back down. Straighten, bend, and come back down. Let's do a couple more. And come back to that neutral happy baby. Start to release slowly your foot. And lay it back down on the ground. Bring your right foot up. Reach your right hand to grab your foot. Same thing, so you're going to first pull real hard. And then you're going to try to straighten that right neck. And bend the right knee and pull it with your right hand down to the ground. Now start to push through the foot and straighten the right leg. And then bend. A couple times. Straighten that right leg. And bend the right leg and pull down to the ground. Straighten that right leg. Straighten up. And then pull down to the ground. Straighten up, pull down to the ground, straighten up, pull, a couple more, pull, and up, and pull, and up, and pull, and start to slowly release your right foot. Lay it back down on the ground. Relax, shake off the legs a little. So now you're gonna stretch up like a cat and reach really far and then reach your feet really far and try to be as tall as possible as you lay down. Really tall, really tall, really tall. And then curl up into a ball. Curl really tight, really tight. Now you release and curl really far. As far as you can, maybe you open to the side, you're a star. You're really big. If you're at an airport, everyone's looking at you super weird. It doesn't matter, you're gonna curl back into a ball. And then you start to release and stretch out. Imagine you're a cat, you're stretching on your back. You're stretching so long. And then you curl back into a ball. Really hug in tight. And last one, stretch out far and wide. Your cat stretching. Maybe you lean into one side, you lean into the other side. You just want to stretch everything out, everything out, and then you come in. Last little ball. 
And you lay back and you just relax the legs. Maybe you shake off your muscles a little. You start to sit up. And then you're just going to do a simple shoulder rotation forward. Rotation back with the shoulders. Now you're going to grab your neck with your hands. And without pulling, you're just going to drop your head down. And you're going to let your hands just press a little without pulling you down. It's just going to be weight. It's going to help you straight stretch your neck. Fold forward a little. And then you're going to try to turn to the side as you stretch the side of the neck. And breathe. Start to turn back down, turn to the other side, look to the side, and stretch the neck. Just continue to stretch, come back down, release the hands, come up. Now you're going to hug your opposite shoulders, right hand over the left, and you're going to pull your shoulders apart, and release. So left hand over the right, you're going to grab your shoulders, you're going to try to pull them apart, and release. So now you're going to reach with your left hand back, twist, press with your right hand to your left knee, twist, look back, twist, 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 and release, come back. Right hand goes back, left hand presses into the front knee, twist, 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 and come back. Two more, so left hand back, twist as far as you can, look back, twist, and come back front. Last one, look back, press, twist, exhale into the twist, come forward, roll back, lay out your legs, you can just relax here. Take your Shavasana here if you have time to rest. Feel your body. Make sure that everything is good and where it should be. If you have a flight, don't miss it. So maybe start to wake up a little. If not, just relax here. And just breathe. You can continue breathing. That's all for me on this flow. Thank you for joining us, and I'll see you on the next flow. Have a good trip if you use this flow for your travels, or if you just use it as a great Friday flow. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.